everybody. Yeah! Come on now! Yeah! <laughs> Is that Jay-Z? <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Jake's Podcast. Highlight clip thing, whatever the fuck we wanted to call this bad boy. Hold on. Mm. Get you some of that ASMR real fast. I fucking hate it. But I'm feeling good. I woke up today with a giant crick in my neck. I can barely turn left right about there. It starts to hurt. Oh, <laughs> but we're pushing through it. I can feel it in my neck. I slept, like, have you ever seen Gravity? Or if you just look up Gravity, that movie where Sandra Bullock is, like, in a ball. Just, like, curled up like this. That's how I slept. That's how I slept last night. I don't know why. I don't know why I slept like that. I just woke up like this. And my neck was like this. And then I woke up and I went like this. And then I went like this. Because my neck really hurt. Because that was a really bad idea. Because I moved way too fast, way too early in the morning. Like a fucking tortoise. I'm a fucking grandpa. And then I went to Walmart and uh, got some groceries because I was like, you know, I love Walmart, man. Did I see any new people? Yeah, I saw a couple interesting people. A couple. A couple really weird outfits. But you know what? That's what I like. That's why I go to Walmart because I wanted to see the show. And I went to Publix. I got some Fresco, put them in the refrigerator, took a shower, got ready, waited about an hour. Now it's crisp and cold. And that's why I need Fresco to be a sponsor. That's a completely different episode. And I didn't even want to get into that today, so I'm sorry. Back on track. I put this fucking coconut oil shit in my hair because I was told I was going to help it because my hair's thick and curly and coily. And they're like, yeah, put this in there. And I think I put too much, way too much in there because after I got out of the shower, I m- moved my hair and now it's doing this. And I don't know what to do about it. I don't know. It just, you know, there's a mirror over there so I can kind of see myself and nobody. But we're going to rock through it. So here's what I wanted to talk about on this episode. You ready? I wanted to talk about working with others. Okay. Now, the reason I thought about this was in high school. You had, I worked with a lot of groups. I didn't get to do that much in college. Though I went to, I went to a very big college. So you were a small fish in a big pond. And you didn't really do groups until you're like capstone classes or your real classes, right? Most of you have been, whatever the fuck you know. And plus it was like COVID time. So everything was online. But anyway. Especially in high school when you're working in groups, man. I just want to talk about the fun of working in groups. And I, I feel like I need to let the audience know who I was in the group when the teacher signed. You are now, you guys get to work in groups on this project. Okay, so m- I feel like almost everyone, mostly everyone, will be like, once you heard those words. And it's a no, everyone knows this, it's a no thing. Once those words will be working. Like it's in slow-mo you can hear it right you're immediately just like this you're like in the middle of a blink and you hear those words and by the time you had opened up your eyes to finish that blink right slow-mo you've already turned and you've already made eye contact with the closest friend you have in that class and you're like but all right so now your eyes are fully open make eye contact nod another blink and you're back on the teacher, right? That's how it was. That's that's how I felt. Every time you'll be working like I was I already know. I already know who I'm going to, where I'm going, and almost the grade that we're gonna get on this project. Because who's my friend in the class? What class am I in? And how hard is the project? Okay. Cause if it's a project we can skate on by, then we're skating on by. Now if it's a project we actually have to care about then you have to go like this, then you go like this. I'm not gonna keep doing slow-mo. Make eye contact with your friend, and then you immediately, the next person you look at, if you know this is going to be a tough project, is then you look at the next smartest person. Like it's either gonna be the smartest friend you have, and if you don't have any smart friends in the class, then you go, it's just, it's like, we're gonna bite the bullet. Like we don't wanna work, you know? you And it's it's understood, it's you, we're good, we got to get him right here, there, right? And it's a known thing. Stop acting like you didn't also do this shit, right? And then the fun part is you get to decide how much you want to procrastinate into the last minute. Because what I loved, my favorite part of working in groups 
is you're already with your boys or girl or whoever the fuck you dad you're ready right you're in your squad <clears throat> and then usually you don't always have a full squad you have one or two or maybe even three outliers right so then the fun part is to kind of pick at the outliers right just kind of chisel away nice and easy to see how much work they're willing to do and then how much you're able to stack right before it becomes your annoying or unbearable or I don't want to work with him anymore right now most of the time I would argue well I shouldn't say that I feel like if I say they did want to work with me then it sounds like really boastful and I'm not saying they wanted to work with me but by the end of the project that they probably weren't like oh fuck that guy because I did some of the work they were just like we know that you don't give a fuck about this class and that it Hey man, I'll crack. I'll make the work easier. Okay. That's my job. Cause you know, I don't care about this, but I care about you guys. So you're going to be carrying the burden, but I'm going to make some jokes and it's going to be good. And we'll keep the spirits high. Right. And I'll be there. You got this bro. Keep fucking going. But I don't want to do calculator on the calculator graphing. And we do one of these projects for my senior year in high school. Oh my God. This math teacher, man, I could really go on about this guy, but that could be a literally a totally different 12 minute episode. So hold on. Let me just, I'll just say it was a tough class. And for the final project, you had to like create an illustration. You had to make a drawing out of like lines and fuck. I don't even remember what it was called, dude. It was like an algebra class, but you had to do it on like graph paper and do all these points. So then you can make this really cool illustration and kids were doing like Noah's Ark and the animals coming off. Someone did like a lion's face. We did like a fucking palm tree and a beach or some shit and like a coconut. Like, uh-uh, uh-uh. No, sorry. Not today. So you're going, come on, man. What? I don't want to do that shit. When am I ever going to do this again, man? What is the point of this? I fucking hated it. But working in groups was the best, dude. And then when you like, if you get to present, Oh, dude, say, say you were somewhat popular and you knew everyone in the class or at least 80% of the people in the class and you had to do a project with four classmates or you and three others, so four and two are your really close friends and someone was a friend, but somewhat of an outlier, right? And you get up and you have to present the project, bro. That is the best. Also terrifying, terrifying in so many fucking ways for me. So many ways terrifying. Just want to shit on myself. <laughs> right? But then it's so fun, dude. I loved it. Love working in groups. Now working, working in groups is, or working with others is way different than working for others. Oh, now we can get into working for others. <laughs> Hold on. Now, if you don't drink Fresca and you're watching this and you go, is he fucking drinking Fresca? Here's the deal. Pause. Stop real fast. Everyone I've talked to or has that has seen me drink Fresca has gone, dude, are you really drinking Fresca? Every single person, every single time. And then you know what I do? I go like this because I have one in my back pocket. Most almost every time I'm in my own house and in a chair, so I don't have one right now, but I always got, you know, an extra somewhere. So I go crack it open, try it. And you know what? This is what they do. They go like this. They go. Okay. That's actually pretty good. Can I have this? Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome though. You're welcome. Cause you remember how 10 seconds ago you were trying to, you were trying to do some shit. But now you're on the train. I got you the golden ticket and now you're here though, right? So you're welcome. You're welcome. These fucking people. So anyway, you're working for a person. Dude, say you're working for like a corporation or just, oh, dude, like an entrepreneur. Say you work for this guy who is like a family friend. This was never, this was never happened to me, but just imagine this. Stay with me, right? Light at the end of the tunnel. We're building an idea here. We're creating something. Say you're, say... You small town, right? And you know this family. We're going to call them the Jeffersons. The Jeffersons, man, the dad, he's got three kids. He's a really nice dad. He goes to all their t-ball games, man. He shows up, parent-teacher meeting, conferences. Is this aloe for my plant? Did this fall off? 
what the fuck? All right, time out. Keep going. And he's a nice dad, right? So he's he's there loving. He loves his wife. They're all solid. And he wants to start his own business. And it's a leather crafting business. He wants to start making purses and shit. And you start working for him. And you're about two years into working for this guy. And everything's been going good. And the expand is, business is expanding, right? And everything's going well. But then the third year, he starts acting like an asshole. And he starts being real mean, real mean, but he's this nice guy, right? You thought, but maybe is it just a job? And then you have to go to work every day, hating your job, but you have to, you kind of have to, because you're in the small town, you've already built this connection. You've worked your way up in the company, but you can't really talk to him because being an asshole. So you don't like going to work every day. So every day when you wake up next to your wife, you're like, fuck, I actually woke up this morning. I wish I would have died. Now I have to go to work and then she's gonna be like, God, you're, you're turning so dark. And then you're working for other people fucking sucks. That's the point of this. Let's do another scenario. Another imagination, bigger corporation. You live in New York city, big corporation, Microsoft. Say you're working for something huge, right? And the first three months, because that's kind of when you're interning, you're meeting everyone, right? You're getting new, you're getting fresh. You're learning the new things. After the first three months, you're noticing the higher ups, you're, I don't even know what it would be in fucking Microsoft. The video specialist and the computers. I, I'm not even going to try and act like I fucking know anything. The, the managers are starting to be real rude. And you're like, hey, you know, I'm running out of these supplies. I want to really, I want to help. Can I, is there, what can I do to get these supplies? And they're like, go fuck yourself. You go find your own fucking supplies. And you're going to be like, oh, but I really like the pay and I love the people I work with. But then I fucking hit my job, right? So working for other people sucks, dude, sucks. That's why, in my opinion, you want to be the top dog, right? You want to own it all or you want to be in charge of the people because then if you're good at it, you go, just treat people how I want to be treated and I've had shit jobs. So I know that that's not the right thing to do, right? So why are we operating this way? And it, what I never understood, especially if you work for, if you work for a big corporation, a small entrepreneurial thing, if you work for a restaurant or a fucking home goods or some shit, right? Why don't we ever have employee meetings? Why does that, why is that not like, why doesn't the manager or the district or whoever the G, whatever go, what have you guys been noticing? that are some occurrences or how have you guys been feeling or what's anything. You guys are the ones on the front lines who are actually doing the hard work while I'm the manager and I'm sitting in the back counting money. So is there anything that you've noticed that we can do better or what can we do? Never happens. Never. How many times has that happened to me? Never. None. I don't know. So what's, I just never understood that working for other people fucking sucks, man. And then some people are like, no, man, I don't mind it. I like helping other people's vision come to life. And then I can just go home and sit on the couch and drink a cola and turn on a TV show. And I go, mm, no, that's why they make chocolate and vanilla. I don't want to ever do that. That sounds fucking miserable. No, 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 no. So yeah, working with groups is so fun, dude. Maybe it was just the time. I think I, yeah, working with groups now is still the best. I still love working with groups. Working alone fucking sucks. And then working for someone also sucks unless, unless they're really nice and you're getting paid well. And it's like a really good job. You like going to your job, then good. But working for other people. Oh, dude, I just turned my neck, my neck left so hard. That hurts so bad. That's a sign to stop this podcast. I'm in a lot of pain right now. Okay, let's end this. Subscribe if you're not going to actually like, share, and subscribe and do that stuff. Don't do that. I'm scared to clap. Don't do that if you're not. Don't subscribe if you're not going to do those things. Okay, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. I need to go to the chiropractor right now. <laughs> okay, bye.